Hey guys, this is Hyder from X Trades, and uh, yeah, it's gonna be another weekly analysis video. And um, yeah, as usual, we'll, we'll start off with the indices, looking at the weekly chart. So we'll take a look at SPY first. Let me remove some of these lines. So there's there's uh, the most important thing about this chart is that there's this trend line right and it started since uh october of 2022 ish so ever since that uh day we have been uptrending and um, the price action has been pretty good right really strong rally here and we started getting extended and now we're finally pulling back and this is so far healthy action um the pullback did get a little bit more violent this week um and the only reason is because we had so many down days in a row, right? So um, we are getting a little bit extended to the downside. So um, bounce is very likely and uh, it's actually in line with this trend line, right? So we actually did hit that trend line and we bounced and we closed up higher. So this is actually pretty good action, but we want to see uh, more of a bounce coming into next week or at least uh, make sure that that trend line holds. So. Um, I think I think there's still a very good chance that we're just gonna consolidate for a couple more weeks and then over here that'll be like the big decision right so we either break out or break down but um, yeah as long as this trend line holds then we are still bullish for now and I'll we'll take a look at QQQ so same thing for QQQ except it's coming back in a little bit harder this time um, and it actually closed below the trend line, but we'll see if we can get a bounce back next week But if we if we continue to uh, be below the trend line, then that's 100% um, uh, Signal to get out of longs and uh, look for short opportunities or, or or It's very possible that we just chop around right so um, But yeah, if we lose that trend line then definitely don't want to be in longs here, but um, Yeah definitely got very extended here right had a very nice rally got extended and now we're pulling back in pretty hard last three weeks have been pretty brutal uh we gave back what one two three four five six seven seven weeks of consolidation we're given up or seven weeks of rally and consolidation have been given up in the last three weeks but yeah we'll see if we can get a bounce off that trend line but besides that how much else to do right if we bounce off that trend line then that's a green signal um, can it continue to buy stocks in uptrends and uh, um, yeah it could be a very good uh, opportunity to uh, for a move back up to 382 but like I said with SPY I think there's a very good chance that we'll bounce and then we'll just consolidate and then a big move will come um, around that uh, October time where we break out or break down but yeah that's what I see for the indices we'll take a look at some of the stocks that are holding up best and uh yeah first we'll go over the big cap tech stocks and then we'll do that so first up google so google has been holding up really really well and it's actually forming a very nice bull flag here um this week not, not much happened just another consolidation week but yeah this one's holding up really really well and uh if that 132 level gets taken out then this could be a really good buy signal um but yeah google's been holding up really well um carved that nice bottom here nice base here broke out of the base and now forming a very nice bull flag and i think a good chance that we see 136 if this uh decides to break out but overall very good action on google next up tesla tesla has been acting really really bad right uh last couple weeks let me remove everything most important line is this right and then you also got resistance here and some support at the 207 208 level but yeah i think tesla a very good chance that we'll get to like 207 208 level and then we could see a bounce off that trend line and uh yeah that's what i see for tesla but if we don't bounce off that trend line then this could be a very good short setup for a move back lower right but um yeah not great action on tesla lots of selling this week um but looks very extended here so i think there's a very good chance that uh, we will get a bounce right so but yeah we'll we'll see what happens next week uh, i think good chance that we can pull back just a tiny bit more and then bounce but overall 
<clears throat> yeah, uh, Tesla short term bearish. Um, next up, we'll take a look at Meta. So Meta finally broke down this week. Um, it's been holding up this very strong uptrend ever since the start of 2023, and it finally broke down this week. So we'll see what happens there. Taking a look at the daily chart, um, Friday was really nice, really nice hammer forming. Um, it it gap down but closed strong, and it did, and it did that on big volume, so that's a bullish sign. But um, yeah, we really want to reclaim that 290 level. That's a very key level. Um, if we can do that, then potentially see a bounce for Meta next week. But we want to do that ASAP. Um, next up, Amazon. So Amazon is uh, it's acting pretty well, honestly. Um, not too much of a pullback. Had a bull flag forming here and then it broke out. Now another bull flag is forming here. Um, so we'll see what happens there. But overall, Amazon does look pretty good. It just looks like it's consolidating while the market's pulling back. This one just looks like it's going sideways. So this is good action and it's showing relative strength. So we want to see a couple more weeks of sideways action, potentially even wait for that trend line to catch up to price. And then we could see that big 143.5 breakout. But overall, Amazon's acting uh, pretty well. Next up, Microsoft. So Microsoft also broke down the uh, uptrend and uh, it got all the way down to like 309 310 level and it did er, it did get a bounce there and it actually formed a pretty nice hammer so that is good action let's take a look at the daily chart so yeah again on friday cap down but close pretty well um but yeah this one's also very extended to the downside um so we'll see we'll see if we can get a bounce here and uh, break that downtrend line but overall, Microsoft is short-term bearish, but if we can break that downtrend, downtrend trend line, then there's a very good chance that we can get a pretty nice bounce. Next up, NVIDIA. So NVIDIA is very simple here, right? Earnings next week, so definitely don't touch it um, for this week. So um, yeah, NVIDIA had a really nice move on uh, A14, right? Really strong uh, move, very big candle. And it did that on the, uh, a slight increase in volume, so that's a good sign. And ever since then, it's been forming a bull flag, so four days of consolidation. So we'll see what happens next. If we can take out that trend line next week, then there's a very good chance that we could see a rally back up to 450, um, 452-ish. And then, uh, but yeah, that won't matter because of earnings. So yeah, uh, I would just advise to be patient, wait for earnings, and then see if there's any play for NVIDIA. But uh, yeah, this stock has been holding up incredibly strong. So um, yeah, very bullish on this stock. Um, but yeah, we'll see what happens with earnings. Next up, Apple. So Apple also broke down that trend line, the uptrend line a couple weeks ago, and it's been falling uh, pretty hard. Uh, it has a major support level at 172, and it did mount off that on Friday. So that is good. But uh, yeah, we want to re reclaim that 177 level ASAP. Otherwise, this could just uh, be like uh, this could just be a, a dead cat bounce since it's so extended to the downside. But yeah, 177 is very key for Apple. Next up, Netflix. So Netflix um, did pull back in the last two weeks, but it hasn't pulled back in too much and it's still above the uptrend line so overall netflix is still bullish long term but um it did lose that 420 support level so that's not great but as long as it bounces off that trend line then netflix is still bullish if it doesn't bounce off the trend line then it becomes bearish as simple as that but yeah that's pretty much it for netflix next up amd <clears throat> so amd lost 107 this week and that's not good at all. So if we can reclaim that 107 level, like uh, on Monday or Tuesday, then uh, we could potentially get a reversal move. But if we can reclaim that 107 level, then this is for surely a short play. Um, yeah, the 107 level is definitely a very key level. So if it closes below that next week as well, then there's a very good chance that AMD needs more time here. But uh, yeah, it, it did get a nice bounce on Friday. So we'll see what happens. But not great action, um, especially compared to NVIDIA.
Now we'll take a look at some of the best looking stocks for next week and the stocks that have been holding up the best. Um, so first off, Celsius. This one had a very nice gap up on earnings, really strong volume. So the stock has been doing amazing all year long, right? Um, look at that trend, right? Let me remove all this. But yeah, this one's been trending extremely, extremely well. And uh, although market is very weak, very weak right now hasn't been giving up um, any gains at all and uh, we did have a pretty big pullback on Thursday but it bounced off pretty well on Friday so uh, we'll see what happens there is a bull flag starting to form here so yeah, we'll see what happens there but this one's definitely a top watch same with uh, VRT this one's also been holding up incredibly well forming a short-term downtrend line here but I think if that gets taken out this could be a very good long setup this one's definitely a top watch. Um, yeah, this one looks really good. Really nice volume pattern. Look at that gap up on big volume. It's a sign that institutions are buying up the stock. And take a look at the weekly chart. This one broke a really big resistance level from that gap up. And now it's consolidating, so perfectly normal action. This one's a top watch as well. And then AMD. So this one's <clears throat> this one has been trending really well ever since that <clears throat> gap up here and uh, <clears throat> it pulled back in with market weakness but it is still holding up holding up pretty well here and it's actually forming a flag here so if it can break out of here then that would be a very good long setup that I'm watching for this week as well and uh, last but not least Upwork <clears throat> so this one's also holding up pretty well here forming a pretty nice bull flag really strong um <clears throat> reaction to earnings really big volume they did over 20 million that day and uh, ever since then it's just it's just been going sideways and flagging here so this one's also holding up really really well and if we if it can take out that flag then i definitely want to be long this thing um but yeah look at that volume right huge volume compared to the volume bars before clear signs that in institutions are buying up the stock but um, yeah, that's pretty much all I got for this week. Thank you guys for tuning in.